So this is this is going to be the the load we're going to lift. So if we have a responsibility of knowing how much we're going to lift. Yeah. So what do you reckon that block weighs? About two ton. Complete guess. Look at how many cubic meters are. You're amazing. All right. Any other any other guesses? Two ton. <laughs> Why do you say two ton? Because it's written on it. Awesome. There's another way of doing it. <laughs> Uh, well, the lift hook's good, but they each say three and a half ton if we're guessing two ton. That's a good thing. But I just want to show you how the formula works for density calculations and what an approximation means. So it's effectively a rectangle, yeah? 3.03 meters. 0.82 meters. 0.26 meters. The length times the width times the height. Does it matter which order we multiply it in? You've measured the outside of the metal frame. I have. Which is bigger than the concrete. So I at have. Points, should we just always go for the larger of any possible number? I would. You want to overestimate this so that your crane operator isn't overloading their crane. So what'd you get? Yeah, let's go with that. 0.64. So we think there's about 0.64 cubic meters. And we times it by a density of concrete is 2.4 tons per cubic meter. So we've come up with 1.55. We see there's two ton on it. The reality is it's probably going to be heavier because it's got all this extra steel in it. And steel is more than twice the density of, uh, of concrete, yeah? So if I was doing this out in the field, I would calculate 1.5 ton and then I would add more for the steel. I wouldn't measure it all, i just make an approximation and see where we end up. So two ton sounds pretty good, but we've got a load cell, so we'll, we'll ask the crane operator what capacity it is once we're rigged up.